Beastmaster and Ember Spirit pretty much in a straight 1v1. Much Very close in actual last hits, but more denies for the Beastmaster there. As Oracle gets an Observer Ward and keeps tabs on Zayats. Level 6 Enigma and Helm of the Dominator about to come pre-7 minutes. Ah, oh, such a good timing. You can't contest Enigma with these two supports. They're more counter-reactive. You don't want to use Will-O-Wisp offensively. It's more counter-initiation. Same goes for Oracle. So Beastmaster should be the one creating space for NIP. Sniper mid lane. Oh, he tries to turn for the headshot, but first blood is spilled by Supreme. They give him the tips. He was baiting her, but Enigma was not close. They I wanted to no places, everyone. try to bait with Sniper, put the Black Hole on Templar ends. Assassin. No smoke whatsoever used by Enigma. How long ago was it when this Enigma was buying Helm of the Dominator and getting catapults? What? Was that a year ago? <laughs> it doesn't feel that long ago. Roar up top. LTW. Focused down by the two supports of NIP. And there's the finish, bringing him down. Focusing on the solo now as well. A safe leg and a TP home. The Shadow Word taking him down, but he's making his way safe and sound into the fountain. As Zayat's rotation was, again, just too long winded. Now he needs to make a move. On the mid lane, smoke running out. Let's see how no one plays this one out. And they've got a centaur to try and stomp up Supreme, but they see the Enigma coming. Slows from the shrapnels, and the centaur stuck. Can catch canvas. out the yep. TA. Get rid of the rune. And Supreme here with a here meld. They've got a sentry. There we go. Solo, the boy scout. Always be prepared. Don't worry, lads. This one's in the oh, She tried to hide. She tried to run. Can't do either of them. Indeed. Resolution farming silently on the bottom lane. How's he doing? Top of net worth. Agreed. Level eight already. And they're like, you don't need to buy a hood this game. Very weird game where games. your timber zone doesn't need to go for it. Solid. So you could just get get some armor by team fighting items. Yeah, everything pretty much physical damage here from NIP. Kevin's halberd is going to be of a great value this game. Oh, it sure is. So this is the period of the game where the TA uh, yes. dips back into the jungle, try and race towards the Desolator. Try and hit that timing. Let's go. And Saber Light, that Helm Rush. Hans got himself a Centaur. Swiftly. Still trying to play around that top lane as these two supports from NIP. You know, we, we looked at this draft and we thought, Mm. Not going to be able to do great things with Kotal and Oracle. So far, they've been making it work for themselves. Yes. Hand of Midas on no one. Forward. Like, Ooh, it's only Sniper and Ogre sometimes. By Hand Arc of Midas. Gordon. Arc Gordon. Nah. That's nah. a dead, dead item for him. Sad. The ice will fight. Bristleback going to take out some ancient stacks. Full Vanguard now soaring. And a Clarity regen up that mana as Bounty Runes do spawn up. Fatal Bonds into the top lane as the Roar on Enigma catches Zayat and he's burst down immediately thanks to Era. LTW is going to Remnant back. He's slowed so much that Remnant's incredibly, incredibly slow. But yet another great pick off there from NIP gathering up, making sure they find the pick they need. Here VP, like they look strong on paper, but they like they're, they're playing as if they're stronger than they really are. I move. Has been killed. This is the third career that died for Virtus Pro. And the LTW is not having that game. There's no Storm Spirit like in the first one. Sniper is just a hero that Attack. wants to farm up. He's barely making any rotations. Die. Solo again, these boars making his life a living hell. Destroyed as he tries to TP. Level 3 purifying flames, such a nice little nuke from Era. Era still not buying anything, just got level 6. I would love to see Spirit Vessel being bought by Oracle. Great synergy between your ulti 
Also against Timbersaw. Still no saving way. the money. There it is. 11 minute hand of Midas and Sniper yeah. with the cooldown reduction talent about to kick in. Pretty good timing. But oh, no, Timbersaw just... comes and plants himself in front of the tier 1 top. Beastmaster does the same thing down bottom. No objectives being claimed yet by either side. But a nice part of the jungle here carved out for the TA. And she's the now breach. 900 away from the Desolator. Charlie Vanguard, the Tread's incredibly tanky. They'll start to want to play around this Bristlebank a little more. Because I, I believe I saw Timbersaw going, yeah, Vanguard, yeah, probably it's, Crimson Guard. It's a correct play I against all nice. this physical damage. You can build the Auras, Crimson, Guardian Greaves, Hellbird, should be fine. Verse Probe wants to take a fight, problem is you can't really just start it. So one way to start it is just loop around tower ain't long for this in front of their towers, try to take it by force. Temperature's dropping. Yeah, Timber's cutting wave top. Faster. Doing a lot of damage to that tower and the rotation in mid from Suneko and Era. No one playing very safely back towards his jungle camps. Radiance top tower. Radiance gone and uh, D-Ward from Seneca gives away their position. No one immediately sprinting. Well, sprinting. He's a sniper. He's, he's waddling away. Little penguin boy. He's got tiny little legs. And there's a roar into mid though. Timber Storm. He, he has 24 he stacks already. incredibly strong and the golems drop. There's a nice will of wisp for the faithful bonds coming out. And Zayas trying to find a position for the black hole, but they need to take down. Uh, Willow wins to give chase as Ember Spirit remnants towards the Beastmaster. He can do it if he wants to as Sableye is still alive, healed by the Purifying Flames. They found Suneko and Solo with a double kill. The Fatal Bond's doing wonders in a black hole on the very edge of the range, cancelled out by Zayat at the last second for some reason, but he'll get the Bristleback regardless. Three quick and easy kills there from VP as they held their ultimates. Yes. They definitely did not have to use Black Hole there, and he even cancelled it for a, a second. Ah. Timbersaw, nice play from Resolution, building up the stacks before he TP. LTW TPs him. I mean, tips Let's him for go. that. Oh, has fallen. So, Here I come. And they get the tier one off the back of it solo. I mean, how much gold did he get from that fight, honestly? Two kills, a tower kill as well. Enough to buy boots. Come in Beautiful. Sure. And they'll get a D ward as well. It's a great little turn of play by Virtus Pro. Roshan, though, for NIP as yeah, they move into the pit. Deso being delivered now onto Supreme. And Resolution scouts them out, though. Ten stacks of reactive on him. No way to stop him from maneuvering in the fight, though. Fortune's End is like the only stun they've got. Maybe they can roar him in a second. As Solo Upheaval tries to kite back NIP and Ember Spirit remnants up to the high ground as Virtus Pro I thought as much. dragging out a fight near this Roche Pit. They've got no black hole for two minutes. Timbersaw straight back in onto Suneko, gets the kill on the console and now NIP Here kind I of come. in disarray. Do we, do we fight? Do we stand and battle in the Roche Pit or do we run and hide? It you have like no the sustain. There's the Fatal Bonds, spike. Flight of Fist, Shrapnel Charges, Timbersaw will be going in. So that's a very weird decision making from NIP to try to take Roche before taking the fight. Sniper in trouble. There's also Trap, 100 movement speed. Haste. Yeah, Arcane Rune on the Ember Spirit, allowing him to spam these slight Let's chains go. out. Fortune's End will connect onto him, but he is perfectly fine with the backing of Warlock. Forward. And triple bounty runes for Virtus Pro. Are you on? Refill that bottle for RTW, who's working towards the Maelstrom. Agreed. So does that mean no spirit vessel here for the Dire team? Looks like it. Enigma's working on Greaves. Timbersaw has the Halberd queued up. Did he not finish off Crimson? Down. Just Halberd, uh, sorry, just Vanguard is a little casual item there. Sunenko getting blown up by RTW. Into the, the best chance that you get plus the disarm against TA. Uh, if TA doesn't hit anyone, yes. they have no burst damage to bring people down. Black Hole ready in 30, Rock is ready. Indeed. Imagine Shrapnel plus Max Upheaval inside the Midnight no Tower. Yeah, it's just straight up. Pure damage. Okay, it's not pure damage anymore. Never mind. I'm dumb. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to think of the changes that were in Dota for way too long. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it used to be universal damage if you think back even further. Long gone are the days. I mean, remember when Wild Axes and Edicts used to be mixed damage, physical yes. and magical? Yeah. March of the Machines used to be universal damage with Midnight Pulse, I like magic much. damage that goes through magic immunity. Man, they made everything so much simpler now. Let's yeah, go. it's very simple. You have magic immunity, but there are certain spells that go and or don't go through magic immunity. I move. But now at least we know. <laughs> Smoke from NIP, wrapping around onto Zayat. Smoke pops and he they don't see the Enigma. Zayas is going to walk himself into the trees and potentially just get a free TP away. The rest of VP, oh, they're coming in to fight this. Zayas has been spotted. He's got a black hole ready. He's going to get roared up. No, he's not. They got a black hole of the Beastmaster. The stun is not coming. Now the focus on the Timbersaw, but the golden drop. There's the fatal bomb spilling damage back out onto NIP and a nice little save there onto Oracle through that assassinate thanks to the Fates Edict. But the focus from Virtus Pro is on the Beastmaster Oracle. They have dropped. And Solo's upheaval is going to slow Charlie down, so no one can just keep clicking him down. The Searing Chains, and then comes the Chakra. Resolution with a triple kill. Rezo tank tanking up in the middle of all that while no one just stands his ground and eight clicks on the ground. If they use Beastmaster Roar on the target, they grab a kill, and what do you do next? You have Slow coming up from Bristleback. And Boar. That's it. It's very hard. I, that's why... I talked about these two supports. Suneko? He's dead. Yeah, that's all too multi. From downtown. The, the Centaur Stomp, mid blinding light yes. pushback, actually caught him out there. And once again, Virtus Pro is messing up Into with NIP's timing, not allowing them to get face. the Roche. <laughs> Into the breach. Bristle, uh, where's, where's Bristleback's farm? Like he was having a free lane. Farming both lane and the jungle. Now he has just a Vanguard and Power Treads. Agreed. Yeah, really slipping. Charlie Bristle back. Damn Unable to go. really get any kills or stick on a target in these fights. Ah. Timbersaur is just straight down his throat every time he sees him. And resolution and the here. use it, no one. If only he could see that hawk. Yes. So now we've got Dragon Lance Maelstrom on the sniper. On top of that hand of Midas, as ILT told you, you, holding out on that mid wave. He's still not. Oh, there we go. That's like He's 25 seconds. Cost. Not using hate of Midas. Fatal bombs onto the bristle top, and Seneco focused by ILT W. He's still chasing. Now you have two position Oracle. five heroes on NIP. If you compare neither of them, yeah. If you compare them, what Vorlock and Enigma bring to a team fight? I mean, white hole against the black hole. I'd still pick black hole anytime. I'll not argue. I'll stop you chasing era behind tier two. It's just uh, a better spell, you know. Yeah. Pure damage. And you can't and kill you can't, it. Yeah. Let's go. Exactly. You can't, you can't just focus it down in these fights. And Sniper, super good at killing off that Will-O-Wisp from Kotal. It's Virtus Pro now, the ones that kind of take control of that Roshan area. Attack. NIP trying to get out across this bottom part of the map to take a tier one. Solo smoking with his squad. They don't have vision down in the bottom half of the map. Swiftly. Nothing left of the other fellas mid -tower. Radiant trying to scan and figure out where VP are. Indeed. Resolution. Thinking about TPing bottom probably here. Tier 1 has already dropped as the rest of VP maneuvering into position to start a fight as ILTW run them straight onto the Beastmaster. They've expended raw but save lies down. It's just falling apart for NIP. This is what we call not playing to win. And you don't have the draft to do it. You're just counter-reacting to what Virtus Pro is doing, hoping that you get something out of it. But you have no aggressive plays available at the moment. This is VP running the entire map. You only live Full control. Crimson Guard, Halberd, uh, Resolution's looking for a Kaya next. 
Probably that bloodstone being Can't get enough of those only dots by the timber saw. Van brace on top of it. Oh man. Strength van brace. You're gonna spot out Era. ILPW coming in behind. Both the radiant supports just trying to buy space for the TA, yes. and that's gonna be Era giving his life. So allow Supreme to move closer to that BKB on top of the blink deso that she already has. Seneko. He's being pinged out here that by VP. Just trying to sneakily cut waves, try and open this map up a little bit more. But in comes RTW. I've seen this slight already five or six times. Keeper of the light just dying on a different side of the map. Okay, they're not oh. gonna get him this time. Indeed. But mech the mech TV barely yeah. surviving. They might not get Keeper of the Light, but they will get Roshan. If you had Spirit Vessel there on the Ember Spirit, maybe you get that kill, honestly. But that is Roshan now, so no one should be grabbing up the Aegis. Sniper so far has been pretty untouched this game. In the team fights, anyway, there's that one little dive mid from the TA that got that kill, but after that, it has been the no one show. Twelve and a half thousand net worth. Your top tower's hurting. Sableite, less than 7,000. Link Dagger is 20 gold off as he pushes out Ice, that bottom done. wave. And Resolution's doing the same thing top lane. Putting VP in a great position here for the two tier twos, mid and top. And forcing NIP to fight on this radiant side of the map. And you look at where Charlie's sitting, he's, he's on the tier one mid lane, but he's gonna get TP'd on here, Alti W. Catching him with the chains, and Sniper will just hold that assassinate, make sure that Charlie can't TP out. He's, he's fake pumping it, like, Charlie, go on. I'm, I'm gonna assassinate you, try and TP, I dare you. Soneko, trying to give a bit of space for the bristle bank, but it is just relentless. A poor little piggy, burnt to a crisp inside the shrapnel. And they got full Guardian Greaves. They're ready to take this fight. Right now, NIP is just causing a little bit of issues with the split push. Virtus Pro's lineup, not the best at ganking. They need to heavily commit. So I believe they're just going to run down the mid. Let's... You want to fight us? ILTW can TP back and come back to Remnant. That's their counterplay to split push. Bounty! Rezo doesn't have much mana to play with right now, but it doesn't feel like he Into cares. 3,000 HP. Seemingly unkillable. 6 nil On your Rezo Timber. On the high ground we go, and Virtus Pro looking to close out game 3. And it's been a real weird, awkward series for both of these teams, but a decisive victory here. Unless some magic happens. And what about RP got up their sleeve? Smoke from the left side of the map. Supreme Saberlight era, but it's gonna be scouted if they move any further forward. ILTW and no one both ready for the backstab coming. Resolution still frontlining there as the backdoor regen cancelled out by this new creep wave. Templar Assassin, Supreme, smoke breaks. Still has that blink BKB. They've got the roar onto ILTW, but Rezo onto Supreme, so can't really focus the target. They're going to try and bring the Ember down, but slide and four staff with a Will O Wisp there, catching a number of BP. They're trying to bail away, but ILTW does fall. A good pick off as a solo black, black hole onto Bristleback, and in comes Resolution. The buyback from Ember Spirit onto the Remnant, and they've got the chase on the TA. The big target in the back is what they'll focus on now. Supreme will fall, and with no buyback available, that is the end for NIP. The Bristle through the false promise, brought to his knees as the same boy. Beastmaster was about to get assassinated by no one, but he says, you know what, screw it. I want to kill some buildings instead. Virtus Pro team fight is just much, much superior. They survived through the laning stage. Man, I, I can't believe people still open up with like Oracle and Keeper of the Light. And then you have a Bristleback on top of that. Long cooldown on Beastmaster. When we go back to draft, it's just a clear outdraft from Virtus Pro. And the, it puts you in a position where it's hard to play Dota. Yeah, it's like that. That Enigma into Timbersaw pick. Keeping things flexible, but also giving yourselves these really domineering lanes. As VP come in again, top lane. They don't have their ultis, though. That is definitely something that you've got to keep in mind right now. Is that... VP don't have that full arsenal of abilities, and Sableye is going for courier snipes out on the other side of the map, but he has to TP back. This is the last chance for NIP now to hold on to their base. 
They can't focus Timbersaw. Resolution is way too strong. And VP have smoked in behind no one. Into the breach. I'll see Bell you. Trying to slight. Suneko. Swiftly. Sniper. Saved up by the Oracle. <laughs> Sniper just bought Heaven's Halberd. Well, they got the roar. They're gonna jump in, try to catch RTW. That is a die back. So he's dead for 74. Sableye, though, just you know, annihilated here by no one. The sniper just sticks around, focuses down the Beastmaster, and there is no more jump for NIP. No one has Aegis for another 30 seconds. Wouldn't mind it if he died here, honestly. Let's go. Limited on the tower damage. Heavens Halberd on Sniper against Bristle against PA. No one with a different item build on Sniper these days. A couple of days ago, he had Heart of Tarask and Satanic. No damage build. Just tanking up as best he can. The Willow Wisp. It's here as the Aegis expires. A pretty good timing to jump no one if they can, but Supreme. He doesn't want to go down the ramp. Resolution. Still diving behind the barracks and focusing Charlie. That's a false promise that they need from Era. As Zayats has 20 seconds still on that black hole cooldown, but he was just moving forward to try and give Greaves to his Timbersaw. And that high ground pressure continues. 10 seconds for Ember Spirit to be back up. He doesn't have a way into the fight, though. When Ember is back, they will have black hole and chaotic offering. Now look at Rezo. Rezo doesn't care, they can't Straight. kill him. Absolutely can't touch him. And he's just gonna sit himself on top of that melee barracks. And here comes ILTW. Virtus Pro ready to go. There's the golem to stop the team fight. The black hole is perfect. Zayat catches everyone he needs to. The BKB from TA is meaningless in the midst of all of this. And Zayat survives with a triple kill for resolution. Virtus Pro give chase. Suneko blending light doesn't do a damn thing. And where's the rampage, baby? Resolution wants it. Sableye, just give it to him. Give it to him. Say yes. No. Sit down. No one steals it, you bastard. How dare you? Now dive the pound to no one. Four staff yourself into fountain, tank some damage so you can get the rampage. I can't believe he's done this. Agreed. There's not no enough one. time to get rampage. That is so very rude. NIP held back in their fountain though. As resolution Four. still just manning up against this side. RTW is going to hold them in with the Cyric Chains and Golem going to work on the tier fours as yes. Virtus Pro. Here's the fountain dive. They kill off Sineko. No one's going to snipe out the kill. My eyes, my and Charlie, where's the TPing to? And they're running away. Some other place. <laughs> He's backstabbing inside his own base. Charlie having a little bit of fun here, it looks like, as the TA focusing solo over the Ghost after there. And Charlie down Goodbye gives that beyond godlike streak to Resolution 1306. And TA's BKB, yes, she's shiny, she's golden, but she's got to hide in the fountain. GG is called Virtus Pro with a 2 1 victory over NIP as they do fully commit into that fountain, but Supreme is going to survive. Will he die at the end? The false promise barely kept him alive, but there we go. Series win for VP. Gold what a performance from Resolution on that Timber Saw. I, I like to talk about the item builds, how they win in the game. I think this one is perfect example Swiftly. how to do so. Like, no stupid things, not <laughs> rushing Bloodstone or anything. Just getting mana boots, farming up. He played that lane perfectly, baiting them with the TP. They go Stop. away, he right. takes away another creep wave. And going for Vanguard... Oh getting a lot of stacks before deeping to tier one tower this is where the game breaks like you want to shut down timber saw so that he can pop off with the vanguard build Into you the can't breach. then he bites heaven's halberd all this damage is going to be reduced amplifies his own healing buys a full crimson guard for the team just uh, 10 out of 10 play I'm and uh, itemization coming out from resolution yeah, and like a 10 out of 10 draft as well. You know, Ember Spirit Warlock Take opener keeps you in that nice little kind of lane sustain, but also gap close and bit of team fight. 
from your Warlock Fatal Bonds, and then that Enigma Timber Saw, the real draft changer, right? With the ability to shift lanes, but also have resolution solo lanes, Zayat's free farm jungle. Then you've got overwhelming team fight between your two support heroes, and you were comparing them to the Oracle Castle in that mid game who just didn't ready. actually do anything, you know? They're using False Promise defensively, yes, yes. you save a hero, but they can't do any damage because you don't have any stuns. You can't catch Ember Not Spirit, you can't yet. gap close on no one. The Sniper last pick working out beautifully right for VP now. there as well, as Lacoste and I are done for today. That's our two series done. Coming up next though, Trent and Zayori are going to be taking you through VP against Liquid and then OG versus Team Secret. That last series of the day should round Not things out ready. quite nicely. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We've got one series, the lower bracket finals tomorrow at 5 p.m. CEST. Same place, but different time for our last day of the OGA Dota Pit playoffs. And then the grand finals at 8 p.m. tomorrow for Trent and Zayori. So, Lacoste, see you tomorrow in the, in the afternoon. No morning games. Yeah, we were changing our schedule, so sounds good. It was uh, some entertaining Dota that we witnessed today. Some also fails, fails of the Earth Shaker a couple of times, but uh, that's why we're here, you know, to have some fun. And I hope you guys had fun. Uh, stick with us. Zayori and Trent are taking over. We need to grab some food and get some rest, but uh, we'll be in the chat, so drop a message. Bye-bye. See you guys next time. Indeed. Fangs of ice. Your bottom tower ain't long for this world. Swiftly. Attack! Hungry Box is in need of a major comeback! I got this one! Ah! Yes! Amazing! A surprise save from Hungry Box's mother! Your moves were a little bit off sun. Not yet! Your top tower is in trouble. Let's go! Thanks, Mom. Now let's smash this noob! Yes! The ice cream fight! Chunky, the soup that eats like a meal! Thank you so for the eight gifted subs. Really appreciate that. Ice, Is there a gift for me, by the way, or what do you prefer? I move! I feel like I'm always butchering your name and I try and pronounce the whole thing. Dude. Not ready. My eyes bite deep. Time yet? I'll not argue. Yes, this will come in handy. To battle. Let's go. Be back so soon. But I was so high up. I was like, oh, I'll definitely not get back. Monster kill.
shall spell an end to all evil. Once burned, ice shall. Send and deliver. Go on, kid. Die! The I'm other ready. fellow's bottom tower's done for. Oh, yeah. Down you go! Forward. It's like looking like literally there's like there's nothing on screen. There's absolutely nothing on screen, like just the sky. And the game is like Swiftly <laughs> I swear. I move. Let's go. The ice wolves bite. <laughs> Here I come. The other fellas aim to wreck your bottom oh, tower. No. Have fun trying to bust down radiant structures now. I thought as much. Might want to check your bottom tower. Those clouds take up too much bottom Into the breach. A fond farewell to your bottom tower. I'm gonna die. Yes. I didn't. Slow Agreed. Man. I didn't notice that I was out of stamina, uh, and, on. um, if you run out of stamina in the air, you can take out the battle lighter for one second, one Into time, the and breach. then after that, okay, at least it auto-saved, and then after that, uh, then you cannot take it out again. I'll not argue. So what happened there was basically, like, I jumped, right, and then I didn't see what I The other fellas aiming to wreck your bottom tower. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. Energies. Mine. Selfish. Alright, this has not been a great Bounty. Segment, not lie. This segment has been pretty oof for my standards, but it's fine. Uh, we have a lot of time saves in the run. <laughs> See if the game can be nice and allow me to actually enter bullet time mode here. Haste. It might be like what Link Link is. Why are you trying to still wear? Super stupid precise because it's like your feet is still technically like when you're holding target. They're not like, yeah. Do I? Monster kill! Oh, I swear to God. Swiftly! Your mid tower needs a little help. <laughs> Why does he take such a big hop? Here I come! I'm tapping up as gently and slow, like fast as I can. Your mid tower's done for. Yes! Your top tower's in trouble. Can't do nothing about dire structures know. right now. Forward. The other fellas' mid rags won't be making trouble no more. Do the segment. Indeed. Slam it home. Damn. Faster. I had a really big free time save here on this segment, but I don't think we're doing that anymore, Chad. <laughs> I think we're losing. I'll free you fast. fast. Get a second opinion. The reason I went live so early is because I couldn't sleep. I woke up at like 8:30 a.m. I thought as much. So 
I already delayed stream by like three hours, but eventually when it reached around one, like 2 p.m., I was like, okay, like, to back. I actually go live for this now, like, no, it's, it's not, not time yet. Like, I'm already busy. I take you. I did not sleep enough, so I was like, well, I'm just gonna go live. Let's go. Forward. Mm. What are you buying? They should have seen I this move. coming. My favorite part of this run is probably if I get a good Ganon's Castle or Hyrule Castle segment. It's pretty satisfying because of how hard it is to do. Not a good drop. Goes well. Indeed. Into the breach. By the way, Virto, did that you get something? Or is my PG really bad? Like what I mean is like, I'm barely losing time, and in my opinion, I should be losing like minutes. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> to bat Let's go. Mind, let's make that three to four minutes. I'll not argue. I thought as much. Uh -huh. This will come in handy. PB stands for personal best. If I get a sub three, 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 there goes the other fella's mid rags. Agreed. To battle. One of the most common BLs that I die on right here, this one here. Because after that friend you always have three hearts. Here's ice in your eye. So much for the Radiance Courier. Poor little fella. Not yet. Attack! Beautiful. The dire went and fortified the ocean's My eyes fight. Will I keep this early schedule or is it a one time thing? One time thing. God. My <laughs> eye spikes deep. One time thing, dude. The other fella's bottom tower. Nothing Colonel. but fragments I'm now. I'm extremely tired waking up this early. I did not feel well. Into the breach! Ah! The other fellas will have to do without that bottom rag. The other fellow's bottom rags is gone for good. 
Indeed. Yeah, I'm sorry, European. There goes one of the other fellas, mid towers. Ah. Forward. Now that was cold. Here's ice in your eye. 